Welcome back to Natural Companions. I'm Amy Rosenthal, and today's show is about holistic remedies for diseases of older pets. Now, our next story isn't about an older pet. It's about a watchful owner who very early on recognized that it wasn't too early to start planning for her puppy's old age. When Belle was only four months old, Andrea McMillan discovered that she had hip dysplasia. Andrea knew that over time the condition would worsen, but she didn't want to subject Belle to surgery. Andrea realized that time was on her side. If she started now, could she help Belle avoid a painful old age? No, sit, don't lay down, silly. I've had Belle since she was about seven weeks old. Belle is a Bouvier de Flanders. It's not a very common breed. They're considered a large breed dog. She weighs about 71 pounds, and at this point, she's 15 months old. Early on when I first got Belle, I noticed that she had some awkward movement in her rear end. It, she seemed to kind of waddle when she walked. At that time, Belle was four and a half, five months old. There, there's a procedure called a pen hip x-ray, and that procedure is supposed to help identify hip problems in dogs. So I elected to go ahead and schedule uh, an evaluation by a radiologist and an orthopedic uh, doctor. The first thing the radiologist told me after she had looked at the x-rays is she had significant case of hip dysplasia in both hips. Hip dysplasia basically in dogs uh, is classified uh, sometimes as the fact that the, the hip itself is too large and the ball and socket are not moving properly. In other words, instead of the, the socket being around the ball tightly, it's opened up and moving in there freely. When I first met with the radiologist after she looked at the radiographs from the, her examination, I was devastated. I, I, I mean, I'm attached to this dog. She means a lot to me. She, my dogs have always been part of my family. And the difficulty you have when you diagnose a dog at under 12 months of age, you don't know how they're going to continue to develop. And no one has a crystal ball as far as a long-term prognosis and if the dog will ever have any real issues associated with the dysplasia. And hip dysplasia, basically, the initial uh, problems are that the dogs can't get up and down and they can't move easily. And as the time goes on, they get more and more arthritis in the joint and immobility sets in. If she did start having clinical signs, the other alternative in the future as she got older would be having a total hip replacement. That would be a very traumatic surgery that would have taken months and months to heal, plus they would have had to done the other side. And I decided I would not elect to do surgery. I was given the name of Dr. Mark Busson. VOM treatments are an adjustive technique. Basically what we're doing is we're uh, using this tool that accelerates at a very quick speed and I'll show you you can barely you see how fast my finger moves with this technique on an animal which you can't really say hey relax and do this or that this will actually go in and what it does is it sets the spine in motion this is a um, Apollo cold laser and what lasers do is it's uh, it's like a like photosynthesis for plants, it's called photobiosynthesis in working with humans. And it actually works down at the RNA level and stimulates the healing through that, that deep of a, a penetration as far as uh, through the skin and working at the RNA level. This is an alphasonic machine. And what it does is it stimulates the blood and lymph drainage in the body. And so I would work her spine and I would also work her knees and her hips using the laser and the uh, alphasonic machine. I noticed Belle was getting better after, actually after the first treatment. She didn't have, seem to have the same waddle in her rear end, and she, I mean, she acted like she felt better, but after probably a couple months of the every week treatments is when I noticed that her alignment in her rear end was better, a lot better. I just saw Belle last night, and um, she's doing great, and she doesn't have the issues that she had before, even if she gets sore now. It's just a little bit of soreness, and she doesn't have any of the cow hawk and duck walk or anything like that. I'm very glad I found Dr. Poussin in his alternative medicine, and I think it's just a difference in approach and baby being more open-minded. Hey, you. There, we're gonna lay down because we're tired. <laughs> Like Andrea was thinking of the future, Dr. Busan also used some forward-thinking therapies to treat Bell's hip dysplasia. Used regularly over time, the combination of VOM, laser therapy, and sound wave therapy should slow the worsening of Bell's symptoms and keep her feeling younger, longer, 